What's up everybody, it's me Kamadio here and today I have great news. I finally switched to a Bowden setup. Meaning that I have a new hot end and a new mount for the extruder motor. So yeah, let's get started. Originally I planned to do this video last week as a form of step-to-step -step documentation but when assembling the whole thing I realized that the fan duct here was lower than the nozzle which is not that good and that is because I printed out the wrong part. As you can see, this is the wrong one. So what's different to the new one? The only thing that's different is basically the position of this holder because it moved one centimeter up. So yeah, then I found a solution with some screws and duct tape, as you can see now in the image. And it was enough to print out the other part. And yeah, as you can see, it came out pretty ugly, especially on the bottom side of this of this incline here and this is because there was not enough cooling because of the amount of the cooling duct obviously. This is the new ISRI DV6 clone I ordered from AliExpress for about $8. It arrived within two weeks here in Austria and it basically comes with everything you need for the conversation. And the one I ordered also had the heater block with the resistors and the nozzle included as well as the one meter PTFE tube. Um, the one that comes from the motor down here and for the resistors I measured a lot and basically the original um, heater resistor had 6.2 ohms while the new one has 8.4 ohms which makes it a bit slower when heating up meaning that the heating up process takes a bit longer than before. The sensing resistor is basically the same so you basically can just take this whole kit install it and it works. The motor setup is the same as before and it is mounted via this motor bracket that also covers the top of the C-Rod. One of the first things that came into my mind when thinking about the different hot end setup is an offset in the X and Y space. I solved it with a simple edit of the start G code in Cura, which I will show you in a second. But for now, let's move our focus to the C end stop switch. The old switch activator I had in the last videos didn't work because it always activated the end stop when the nozzle was about this, dis this distance from the build plate away. I solved it uh, with the use of the old angle I had from, from my improvised fan mount in the last videos as well as an m 4 x 24mm screw and the button from the old switch setup. I also printed out two of these spool adapters which let the printer print alone for now. The only problem I encountered with it is that sometimes the nut falls off or the spool holder screws itself to the nut on the other side, rendering the print wasted. As already mentioned before, all prints have now an offset because the nozzle position changed. This washer, you can see in the image now, was printed in the center, but it turned out to be 8mm to the right and 4mm to the front. Luckily, there's an easy fix available, but therefore, you need to switch with me to Cura. Okay, here I am in Cura version 14.07, as you can see here. That's the version that came shipped with the SD card with the printer. And I'm also in version 2.4.1 of Cura, that's the latest out there as well. So, what I want to show you is how to edit the G-code to print centered things real in the center without offset. In both of the versions, it's basically the same, but a bit difficult to find sometimes. So yeah, let's get started. First, how to de determine the offset. Basically, I just printed this washer placed in the center of the build plate and measured the offset. Uh, for, in my case, it was minus eight millimeters on the X axis and plus four millimeters on the Y axis. So now the thing is to get rid of the offset, basically. Therefore, I just need to edit the G-code. So yeah, that's the G-code, the original one. I didn't change anything here. And basically, what I, um, what I want to do here is, okay, let's go through it. Here's adjusted the, the values. There I said that I use absolute posi positions and not relative ones. Here, switch off the fan. Here, I home all. So basically, I want to set the offset after, after the homing process. Um, there I'm moving the platform, uh, they're moving the C axis up by 50 millimeters. 
The G92 code tells the printer the position it is currently. Um, the printer just homed X and Y is on zero, but to get rid of the offset, I just want to say that on the homing point, it is plus eight in X direction and minus four in Y direction. So yeah, basically what I do is here after this one, I would say, I just edit, I just add these two comments, which basically say the printer homes is an X zero, but, but in truth, it is on X eight and on, and on Y minus four. To learn more about G codes, I really recommend you the wiki page of reprep.org, which tells you every G code and what it does. So as you can see, G92 is what I use. This this code, the offset should be um, should be gone, and centered things should really print in the center. For CUDA 2.4.1, the setting is a bit difficult to find because you have to open the printer you're currently in. So manage printers. Here you see I just have the init A8 printer. Um, I click here on machine settings and here you have to start at end G code. Because I was searching a lot before and then I realized that I can have multiple printers in QRL 2.4.1. Basically here you see the same. I just added these two lines of code here and it works like a charm. So yeah, that's basically it for the QRL things. I will go into more detailed CUDA settings as well as cover the basics of G-codes in one of the next videos. So look forward for that. Anyways, this concludes today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. See ya!